Thank you for tuning back in to another episode of the Walk On Pod. And uh, last minute changes, but just us three again today. Uh, Jared's tuning in, or Jared's tapping in from uh, LA. Jared, what's going on? What up, what up? Hollywood. Tommy, fresh off his first collegiate bucket. Talk to me, Tommy. Yes. Talk to me, Tommy. Quick first to many. You already, you already know what it is. It's what we do. First to many for James. Um, But yeah, you know, we... uh. Don't have too much of a plan for this episode. Just gonna kind of talk, you know. Usual conversation with us three. Uh, <laughs> a lot of NBA action going on. A lot of college basketball. A lot of football. A lot of everything going. So, really, stuff, really man. here to talk about anything. Especially the Kings winning tonight. Uh, you know. Warriors have a good test. The Warriors have a good test out of them tonight, Cleveland. Yeah, especially after you know they're gonna be hungry after they just lost a hard battle yeah. to the Kings. Uh, you know, a real gutsy win for Sacramento. Who are the Kings playing tonight? The Lakers. Oh God, that's going to be a terrible game. Yeah, that's gonna bro. Be you don't watch Kings basketball though. We looked good against Cleveland. I, I watched the Warriors cook them in the fourth. Cook them. You want my you, you bro? We could talk about that. We could talk about that right now. Actually, how we they got cheated? Cook in, they did cook them in the fourth. We got cheated. We got cheated. Steph traveled, and Herder got fouled. What are we talking about? When did Steph travel? Yeah, when did Steph travel? Corner? That's crazy. Yeah, they weren't. Gonna it was, look at the league. Look at the. No, that's the, uh, fine. That's fine. But the Kings weren't going to hit a shot. We we Kevin Herter going to the line for three at least at the end there. Yeah, I don't know what Clay was doing. He didn't need to foul. He was fouling. That's exactly what he was doing. He's sick. We're good. We're back. Yeah. Steph Steph really had to give him 50 for that one. Yeah. It, furthermore, to prove my point, Steph had to score 50 to beat the Kings. Like, you got to pull out your, well, your best player. Also, your best game. The Warriors also just aren't playing good basketball right now. Yeah. Yeah. I was not messing. That second unit still getting tweaked out. That second unit needs work. I mean, it's kind of what's happening with the Kings, you know. We're just figuring out new players, new coach, you know. So I think, championship I think caliber play is coming soon. That's a, that's a crazy take. I don't I don't know about a championship caliber anything Sacramento related, right? Now. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> Are you guys aren't watching though? You aren't Maybe watching. Sac State. Sac State football is the only championship caliber thing going on. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's about it, hate, man. People, people really tough. get mad at me, but they don't watch Kings basketball. It's hard to watch. Yeah, I don't it's, it's not as bad as it was. Like it, it, it this it Cleveland is, it game is. was actually good basketball. Like it was really good. down the stretch. They they got stops when they needed to. They shared the ball, got good shots, good team basketball, and a win against a, a high caliber Cleveland Cavaliers team. I don't know. Hey Luke, I'm happy for you, man. Yeah, yeah. like come on, take, especially after you cheated wins. out of two wins. Take your wins when you can get them, man. Take your wins when you can get them. First, the Tyler Hero. Uh, the trap. Tyler Hero one was bad. That was for sure a trap. Yeah, and then the Warriors one. Like, it just keeps happening to us. Uh, keep putting yourself in those situations. That's all right. Did you guys – do you see the talk that um, DeMarcus Cousins might come back to Sacramento? Do we think that's actually going to happen? Sweet. I think it's possible, honestly. I, but, think, it, I think it'd be solid. Why not? They can backup? use all the help they can get, but who's their backup big right now? Rashawn Holmes, which is he's solid. I feel like, but yeah, he just like fell out of the rotation though, out of nowhere. Yeah, he's well, good. once we got Sabonis, he fell out of this rotation. Not Sabonis a Sabonis over here. He's shooting nine percent from three right now. So. <laughs> I just don't. I just. I think. I feel like they're empty stats. I feel like what Sabonis does just doesn't really impact winning. What about Fox though? He's good. I like Fox. Okay. He's playing really well. But like, as it like, you got to talk to me, Luke. As a Kings fan, like, do you like what Sabonis is doing? Not right now. I feel like, I feel like, what's hurting us is him defensively because all these teams will go small ball and he cannot hang on a on a perimeter small ball lineup. And we keep yeah. getting killed. Yeah. Yeah. That is, that is. I mean, but that's gonna be like all season though. Yeah, that's what – but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see tonight, you know, as we take down the Lakers. I don't think LeBron's playing, though. So, people are going to have the little asterisk next to it when we win that one. But it's okay. 
There's a solid solid college basketball slate of games tonight. Yeah. Jared, which one are you watching? Uh, I'm going to UCLA and Long Beach State. That should be a fairly easy dub for the Bruins. Yeah, I think so as long as they don't play down the competition and stay solid. It should be good. They play Sac State. Uh, yeah. First game, right? Monday. Yep, Monday. They get, they won by 23. But it was close in the first half. Mm. I'm, excited to see, uh, I'm excited to see San Diego State and BYU. Oh, yeah. When is oh, that yeah. game? That's tonight. I want to see. Mm. I want to see how BYU looks against them. Right, because you guys just played them. Yeah, we lost. They had a game winner, so I want to see like how good they are against the Mountain West team. Yeah, yeah I guess sure. San Diego State's actually going to Pac-12 now. That's gonna be did, crazy. Did you guys see that? I didn't see it. No, it's not like official yet, but I think it's like basically almost done because. Uh, is UCLA leaving too? USC and UCLA are going to go to the Big Ten. Yeah. So. yeah. I think SDSU and um, I don't know who else, but SDSU is going to go back to the club now. No, we did a, I did a project in, in one of my classes about who could replace the Pac-12, and this was like a couple weeks ago. So it's actually kind of crazy that the whole San Diego State thing is happening because that was – we said San Diego State. We said uh, Fresno State could be a good one. We said – UNLV could be a good one, and we said Utah State could be a good one. Hmm. But Utah State, huh? That'd be interesting. I don't know. I think San Diego State's a good addition. Yeah, I think that I think they're a good addition. <clears throat> yeah, Utah think... State would be a good addition if you lose Utah to like the Big Twelve or something. Yeah, which is very possible <laughs> for football yeah, at least. Yeah, I feel like the conferences are changing every week at this point. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Big Sky is still solid. Come on. Big Sky is still solid. We're actually they they had a couple ranked teams, right? In football, Big Sky is the best. Yeah. The best uh, they're the best FCS. FCS conference in football. Oh, wow. They yeah, have uh, Sac State's number two, but everybody says they should be number one because they have a better, like, they have a better, like, strength to schedule or whatever. And then mm-hmm. Montana State's three – Montana's like fourteen, Idaho's fifteen, Weber State's five. Damn, That's crazy. Eastern's yeah, usually yeah. really good too. Eastern's usually really good too. I guess I think they're having a down year though. But yeah, no, Sac State's crazy nice, man. Those freaking Folsom football coaches are legit. Yeah, they damn, right. they really are. Those dudes literally win anywhere they go. Like Folsom didn't lose for years, and then he got. Troy Taylor goes to Sac State, and I think I saw somewhere he hasn't lost a Big Sky game in, like, two years. That's nuts. That's super crazy. Oh, I did want to spin back to uh, NBA talk a little bit because we've been talking in our group message about our our picks for Rookie of the Year and MVP and all that. And yeah, we fumbled our Rookie of the Year we pick. We fumbled. Do you want to go ahead and talk about that, Tom? I just can't believe I, – I don't know. I know Jared wanted to say it. I can't believe I didn't mention Benedict Matherin either because I knew he was nice and I knew he was like that in Arizona. So I cannot believe he spaced my mind. But that dude is different. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's had he's some crazy sad crazy. lines. Bro, 21 points in 11 minutes the other day is like – that's just – he just – he's so – he just looks so savvy out there. Well, he's got mean, like – He's a dog mentality. He should like yeah. his quotes and stuff. He's like, I need people to prove that they're better than me every like each night and all that. Yeah, he's crazy. He's he's so tough though. I wonder I wonder if he would have been this good if he didn't take that second year at Arizona. Cause I, I, Jaden I Ivy, Jaden Ivy did the same thing at Purdue too, and I think he's doing pretty well as also. And they I both think... they both would have been lottery picks either way. Yeah. I think it helped him a lot. I mean, we played him that first year, and, like, he was good, but he wasn't who he was the second year at Arizona at, at all. Like, yeah. he was a super athlete, but not – Well, remember, like, Will – when Sac State played him, Will was like, yeah, he's a pro. <laughs> yeah. That guy's a pro. No, he's killing. Uh, I mean, Paolo's numbers are still nuts, but I don't – I don't even know the Magic's record, so I'm not sure. Yeah, Paolo's he- – He's he's mm. cooking too. I mean, 
he was yeah, he just put on over they they beat the Warriors the other day and he was just a walking mismatch. And then Jalen Suggs yeah. decided to just game them on a rager. That was absurd. Yeah. Paul Paul really that might be him. He really might be. He's he's nice. Could be his league yeah. here, sir. He's like he just had a matchup nightmare, but also like he doesn't need like to be athletic to get buckets. Like he'll post, he'll catch and shoot, he'll like footwork. Like he'll he'll shoot fade away, turn arounds, like he doesn't have to like jump over and be big and athletic, but then he is, you know. Yeah. This guy's averaging twenty four and eight right now. It's ridiculous. Yeah. That's crazy. And he's That's 19. ridiculous. Yeah. He's literally nineteen. So yeah, what who what did it was Paulo the picks for you guys? I'm trying to remember. Because I know who mine was. He's, you know, he's I think sure. mine was said Keegan Murray. Yeah, good pick, good pick. I think I said Dyson Daniels. He hasn't been getting in as much as I thought he, he would. He hasn't be. been getting burned. Yeah. But, like, they're so loaded at the wing, so. Yeah. It's going to be tough for him because Herb Jones and B.I. are going to take the bulk of those minutes. Yeah, exactly. Those oh, two are going to. Herb Jones is probably my one of my favorite young guys. I really like the Pelicans roster. Yeah, Trey Murphy is nice. Jose Alvarado is cold. I'm a big fan yeah. of him. He's hilarious. No, they're going to be a tough out in the postseason uh-huh. no matter what, too. And Zion, obviously. That dude is ridiculous. What about the Bucks? Yeah, I feel like they're 10-1 like... and no one's really talking about them. Have they lost, they lost finally? 10-1, and one, yeah. Uh, yeah, two games ago. Who'd they lose to? They lost to Atlanta. Did y'all see what Javon Carter said yesterday? I did not. <laughs> he had like 36 or something. She was like, when did you know like you were going to get going or something? And he just like, he looks the camera dead in the eyes. And he's like, when I woke up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was crying. Yeah, but uh, I think Keegan Murray's still in the running. Uh, is that what you said too? Are you... Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Keegan's doing solid. Shaden Sharp's doing really good. He is. Portland. He, he, he's like he came real efficient. So he's, he's been doing so really athletic. well. He's uh, so athletic. Yeah. The yeah, MVP yeah, I think picks. Keegan's still nice. Yeah, the MVP picks. I feel like what you guys both said, Luca. Yeah, I said Luca. Yeah. He is definitely <laughs> he's averaging like 36 a game on yeah. 17% through 3 2 or something. Yeah. His, yeah, usage, his usage is just crazy. My Steph, my Steph possible pick was not ridiculous, though. I mean, that dude's averaging 34 right now. Mm. Mm. Talk they to just, him, Dom. They just need a win, bro. No, Luca's averaging 33 and a half. That's crazy. Yeah. 29 from three, though. It's not the best split. Better than I thought it was. Yeah. But, no, he's getting to it. I said Jason Tatum. They, they went on a little losing skid. It wasn't, it wasn't good for his his campaign. I think they dropped a couple in a row. Yeah. yeah. But uh, they uh, – I think they're they, back they, to winning, though. Yeah, they are. They won the last four. But before that, I think they lost three in a row. Hmm. Tatum's averaging 31. I feel like he's definitely still got to be in the conversation. Yeah. No sure. doubt. Yeah. He'll, he'll no, the East is really strong, man. Yeah. yeah it's going to be really interesting. This yeah. Year. Especially even Cavs, too. Even though you guys just beat them, but. <laughs> that takes they're away legit. from them. <laughs> it definitely takes away from them right now, but they're legit. They're, they're winning games. Like, they're winning close games. They just lost one in sack. It's fine. It's a, it's a hostile environment to win a game in. <laughs> Maybe you say so. Yeah, man. I think Cleveland's going to be really hard to beat in the playoffs. Yeah, I agree. Well, now oh. you, add, you, you take the young core that they had and you put, like, a Donovan Mitchell in that system that's been in the playoffs and, like, knows what it takes. That's, that's mm-hmm. scary. Very. Their defense is just, like – you're not getting anything at the rim against those guys. No, what? Mobley's no, down there. No, no. I would trust. <laughs> Mobley and Jared Allen, like, what? 
<laughs> yeah, that's some light down there. That's insane. Who you put up a Wesley three? floater in there or what? Who play, it, no, Levert, I am. Does Levert play the three for them still? Yeah. Yeah. Like those are those are three bucket getters on the wing, and then two just big ass dudes down low. Darius Garland's bag is crazy. He's so tough. Yeah, bro. his bag he's is nuts. Is so tough. He's bro, I did. Besides Ja, he's easily the best young guard in the league. Wow, that's your yeah. that's your that's your claim. Easily, bro. I mean, he's what like when he's healthy. He hasn't been healthy much this year. He averages like a cool twenty five. No, I'm not. I'm just. I'm not mad at it. What do you define as young, though? Yeah. What this is what year three, year four for him? Yeah, I think it's what. I think year four. Yeah. Year four. Did he even play his rookie year? Uh, wasn't uh, he hurt? I'm not sure. I don't. I can't remember if he. he I know he didn't play at Vanderbilt. I know he didn't play at Vanderbilt. Yeah. After like three games, so I think he might have played his rookie year, but like they just weren't good. They didn't have anything around him. No, it was really like I, yeah. No, I think you're right. I think this is year four. I don't know. Actually, I just those young shifty guards like they crack me up. There's like him and Jordan Poole like when they get away with like the double dribbles and all that. Well, Garland got away with a like, super carry. Did you see that one? Yeah, there's like a fake in and out <laughs> behind the back. I'm like, bro, bro, he had one he last year. The ball down. No, yeah. did you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It was nuts. Yeah, I saw last people... year on Damian Lee. That was yeah. insane. Like the, it was like in and out, tween, step back, put two hands on the ball, put it back down, just kept going. Damian Lee jumped it for it and was like freaking out. And then Jordan Poole hit Damian Lee with the same move this year. <laughs> yeah, Jordan Poole will be pulling crazy stuff out of his bag. He's insane as well. But nah, Ja, ja is different. He's He's the best young guard in the league to me. Uh, uh, hey, Jared, you good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not mad. I, I like, I like that. Um, uh, but no, I saw people trying to uh, remake the Darius Garland move, and like they were so like he made it look way more fluid than it actually was. But the way these people were trying to remake it, they were like over cupping, turning it over. I was like, oh god, this is really bad. They were like doing that on TikTok. It was on Instagram. I want to say. You know, it's a little sweet dimes. Trainers out there, get it in. It's the Darius Garland move. You got, yeah. You see, I see him do it one time on accident, and then all of a sudden we got to put put their name on it. Well, yeah, that was, well, that was like when Kyrie did the fake behind the back thing. Everyone was trying to do that one too. The yeah. thing Jamal, the thing Jamal's been doing for years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Jamal's probably done. He probably did the what we're talking about before him too. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like what? At yeah. one of the pro am games. He was pulling out the fake behind the back crossover years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Kyrie one move Kyrie had this year was the 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 in and out spin to the lefty floater on the right block from Kyrie was absolutely filthy. Nah, he's he's nuts. Most skilled player in, in, of all time. Mm, not on that way. I'm still but, gonna go with Steph, but that's just. I'm not mad at the argument, but I, I I say Kyrie, but I I understand that argument. I'm mad at it. Yeah, his handles his handles crazy. His handle is so crazy. Yeah, I think I think what separates him from Steph is I think like not to take away from Steph's handles or finishing or anything, but I think what makes Steph's handles and finishing all that more effective is his ability to shoot which obviously is a skill in itself but i think Kyrie's not as good of a shooter so it makes it like even more amazing how much separation and stuff he gets off of that because they don't yeah you don't uh, have to like Kyrie. Kyrie's moves yeah. they're just like aesthetically pleasing they just yeah. look nice they just look it's like a video like, game yeah like Steph, Steph's stuff, I to me at least, like he pulls out just some or unorthodox crazy thing that shouldn't go in. Like the one Kyrie pulls out a, a crazy move, it's like that was so like perfect textbook. Yeah, like, yeah, that's the difference between those two I, to me, and I think yeah. I think that's why Kyrie gets a lot more love. Yeah, I would say it's a fair assessment. Yeah. 
I'm not saying Kyrie's more skilled. I'm just saying that's that's the way I'm looking at it. Yeah. No, I think that's fair. I would say that's yeah. fair. I think uh, all time, I don't know, Allen Iverson, I feel like should also be up there. But for sure, for sure. I think in terms of pound for pound, I think, I think Iverson. Yeah, I, I think that's a good call. And Elijah won. There we go. That's I like that right there. Yeah, I, like I like that. that. <laughs> Those are my picks. Those are my picks. Because we've had this conversation in the locker room a bunch of times. It's Stephen. I I like the Kyrie pick. I, that's my personal pick. But I think like there's a few. Those are some names that have been brought up, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Elijah one was crazy. Well, what he he changed footwork forever. You had all positions trying to do what he was doing. Yep. yep. Any other uh, NBA talk before we want to switch gears? No. Well, I want I want to hear about what's going on in the fantasy world with you guys. Hey man, we can talk about it because my season's my season's struggling right now. Uh, I'm a solid six and three in both my leagues, so I'm good. Yeah, I think you're at the top of our other. Well, no, there's Charles in, in the league of his own, but man, he his team's crazy. It's just I just got, hope, I just better. Gotta, I play him this week, so yeah. Oh, you you already beat him once. Yeah, but I put up a solid 16 points out of three players last night in the Thursday night game, so. So it's yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, you know. No, you you me talked to... about it. <laughs> it's yeah, and dude, DJ Moore I... didn't do anything. I checked my uh... phone. I checked my phone and I saw that and I was so mad. Bro, I was yeah. watching. They were the Thursday feeding. games are so bad. Oh, what type of matchup is Carolina and Atlanta? I was like, this is awful. Like, yeah, you could have known that was not going to work out well. Did you see the the conditions of the game too? It was like no. pouring rain, thirty mile an hour winds. Like it was awful. I was like, "Oh God, this is bad." Mariota's no. gonna think he's prime Lamar Jackson or something. Oh, dude, the, the, that video of him like throwing the ball when he was already down, <laughs> when he was no, like somersaulting like... into the ground. <laughs> Bro, oh. no, he's nuts. Well, and then the pitch thing that we were talking about, he was targeted eight times. Like, he blatantly missed him on, like, three balls that he threw to him. I was like, bro, just complete the pass, please. Yeah, bro. Nah, not serious. Yeah, no. Just not serious. Pizz is, I'm, I'm not trying to I, uh... I saw Black Panther instead, so that was good. Oh, how was that movie? Fire. Fire. So good. So, it, so, so, so good. Was it you gotta go see it? It. Yeah, it was long, but it, it didn't feel it didn't feel like that long. It went by pretty quick. It was super entertaining, at least to me. I don't know. I'm a big Marvel guy, but like I thought I didn't think Marvel's been putting out very good stuff lately, and I thought this was really good. So Yeah. Nice. Well, wasn't it like the end of the whole like Phase four, like or yeah, this was the like the one, last. Whatever. This is like the last film in the phase or whatever. I don't even know like what the. I feel like I don't even know like what the point of the phase was, like what the end goal of it was. Yeah, I think, I think, <laughs> yeah, definitely down phase. <laughs> I think this phase was like um, kind of like phase one of the MCU. Like it's just kind of seems very good right now. And then once once we start moving on it, and they have another Avengers movie, and they all come together, like it's gonna be like, oh, okay, that movie was actually a lot better than I thought. Type thing. At least that's how, that's the way I'm looking at it. But I could be wrong. Yeah. Which which kinda... Avengers movies did you like the most though? Like recently, the the old ones. Like yeah, the regular Avenger movies. I mean, like the OG was obviously. Elite, but Infinity War is my favorite one. Yeah. That one was so good with like just like the aspect of Thanos winning, like you don't see that. Yeah. But I mean the new the new villain, the new like big bad villain in the MCU is Elite Kang the Conqueror. That dude's crazy, and they have a really good actor, Jonathan Majors doing it. So hmm. Ant Man and the Wasp comes out in February and he's in it, so like I think we'll get a good idea of how, how scary he really is. They'll pull it all together. Yeah, they're gonna pull it's, it all together and 
that's it's interesting like, how they use the Ant Man movies to like really like bring the whole story together. I know I that's I, like, like the most unassuming of all the. Events. That's so true. That's such a good point. Like the Ant Man, the Ant Man movies have been so key in the 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 Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is just hilarious to me. Well, I feel like it's like the science behind the Ant Man stuff because is yeah. it a bunch of it? Like they're gonna do like the multiverse stuff through the quantum realm, all that. So, yeah. Ah, like, uh, yeah. And like this he's one like, is about the quantum realm. Yeah. So like he's the only one that like can tie that together with his storyline, I guess. Right. I but, yeah. I wonder if he's gonna survive this next movie. Yeah. I feel like, like he might die. Game might... Flies. I think he might die, honestly. No just... <laughs> I think he oh. I think he might die because this is like because like I don't know if you guys watched Loki, but like that's when Kang was introduced. Yeah, but like, there's so many different variants of Kang, and in Loki they open up the multiverse. So this like new, this this Kang and the Ant Man movie is a different version of him. And I think he's just gonna be like this. Like they're saying he's crazier than Thanos and stronger than Thanos. So I think like to really like show it, they might just kill off Ant Man because it's his third movie anyway. Dang, that'd be nuts. And I don't know what more. I I mean I, I like Ant Man. I think he's a good character, but I don't know what more <laughs> we can get into with him. Hmm. But yeah, especially if they're moving into like the new phase of Avengers or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, because but... once the science gets explained, it's like his storyline kind of runs. Yeah. Runs out. And this is like I think this movie's gonna set it up big time. Hmm. Black <laughs> Panther, like the way it ended, I felt I just felt like there was more for another movie, so that'll be good. Oh dang, that's cool. Yeah, well the villain is the villain is tough. The villain is so tough. The one was tough in Black Panther one too. Yeah. Yeah. This I one. Jordan was sick. I think this one was better, honestly, to me. Dang, that's saying a lot. Well, bro, like I don't know. I'm a big fan of like Atlantis and underwater stuff like that. So, hmm. and that's what this is about. So he was, he was real OP as well. Yeah. What comes after the Ant Man one? What's What's after that? One? Um, I don't know. It's a good question. There's always there's always like the the t there's always the TV shows too. Yeah. So, uh, I, I was gonna say I, like, I, I, I haven't watched those ones. I haven't been a big fan of the TV shows besides Moon Knight. So, and that yeah, one got canceled early, right? No, nah, I think they're I think they might do another season. Wow, it was really good. I mean, Oscar Isaac's just a really good actor, though. So, yeah, that's hard, true. hard hard to mess up. There's gonna be another season of Loki, I thought, right? Yeah, next summer. That one will be really good. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't watched the first one. You gotta Don't watch it. You watched the first one? Yeah, Tommy made me. Mm. Well, early, it's early when they when they were doing the TV shows, I was on it. Like and Tommy and I used to talk about it every week with with WandaVision and then Facts, what, yeah, WandaVision Loki. Was Loki was the last one and then it was what uh Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, Falcon and Winter Soldier was like eh. It was just like a I didn't really love. Like, I didn't really love Wandavision. I thought it was really good. I liked it. I liked the anticipation of it, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it was just so different. Like we had no idea what was going on. Yeah. The best one but, though was was Loki or Moon Knight. I was gonna say I really liked Loki. Yeah. Moon Before Knight was just one. like. Yeah. Moon Knight was just so. Trippy, like. I don't know. You guys have to watch it. It's really good. It has literally nothing to do with anything in the MCU at all. I was going to say, I thought I heard yeah. that it's like not in the storyline at all. No, like not at all. I think, I think maybe it'll have to do with a character that was introduced in the Eternals. But other than that, mm. other than that, it literally like doesn't even like, I don't know where it's going to land. But yeah, it was really, it was just like Egyptian, like history, that type of stuff. Mm hmm. And it was just like a lot. It was just really different. And uh, what's his name? Like, and I think Ethan Hawke was the villain. So he's really good. Mm. Yeah, The Eternals is like, that was like a really long movie that it just like kind of split the story in so many different directions. It was like yeah, hard to see how it's going to connect. That one was just like, I was just like, where were these people? <laughs> I don't know. That one was weird. That one was really I weird. I never saw it. I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, it was funny. Like there were some funny moments in it, but I don't know. I'm I'm really into this Star Wars show right now. 
and or. or bro are you watching still jared yeah yeah we're watching we're keeping up i think we're we didn't watch wednesday's episode yet so really we're like good one behind very good did you like the episode six? Oh yeah it was good yeah, that one was fire. That one was my favorite one. The he was really cooking out there. Yeah, the and like that that whole scene was like so, like the cin the cinema on that was crazy. Like the lighting, the lights, and the ritual thing. That was so sick. No, this is really good. It doesn't it like I I like it a lot because it doesn't even feel like Star Wars. That's why I like it. Yeah, it slowed like, down the last couple episodes for sure. But then this episode picked it back up. Got it. So. They're just like building new arcs stuff. Did you ever see Rogue One, Luke? Uh, that was the one with like Vader and stuff of the new ones, right? It was like how they it destroyed. had to do with the original, right? It was like how it was yeah. like how they got the plans to Princess Leia to destroy the Death Star. Yeah, yeah, I watched that one. Yeah, it's about it's about one of the characters from that. Mm. Yeah, like way way fast, like way fast forward and behind. Yeah, I got it's like way back. <laughs> It's his backstory. <clears throat> I think. Yeah. And I, it, I it's just like it's just like cool to me because it's like we haven't seen this part of the Star Wars universe. Like, there's no star, there's no lightsabers, there's no Jedi. It's just like how intimidating the Empire is and how they were really running, running shit. And it's just crazy how like it's just it's just super interesting to me. I honestly like I don't think I've seen any of the new Star Wars trilogy though. With like Kylo Ren and all that, like I'm, I, yeah. Uh, he should probably watch those. I mean, I never, I, I didn't went, I didn't finish watching all the Star Wars till my senior year of high school. Like I was never into it or anything. Mm. And I only watched it. I only watched the because I watched. I had seen episodes four, five, and six, which were the original three, right? Yeah. And then yeah, I didn't see the Anakin ones. Until we watched them in my mm. film class my senior year. Ah. Yeah. Just never felt oh, that's... I never wanted to. Did you like... to the Sith, man. That was, oh, oh. that was a really good one. Did you like the Obi-Wan series, Jared? Uh, it was okay. Yeah. It's hard. Like, the Mandalorian one was, like, far and beyond the best out of all of them so far. You, you don't think Andor's up there? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Gotta see how the season ends. Yeah. Mandalorian's Elite. That's such good TV. Yeah. No, I I liked... I mean, Obi-Wan was a little slow, but I just... I don't know. Just for, like, fan pleasure purposes, like, just seeing Ewan McGregor back on the screen was amazing. Yeah. It was crazy. how they, It was crazy how they changed, like, his age and stuff like that. Yeah. The show. Change your lanes a little bit again. Um, we we had some music talk last week, but I think it was the day before uh, the Drake album dropped, and we didn't really talk about Drake in that conversation. Uh, but historically, Jared has never really seen the hype behind Drake, or I guess I don't know if that's the right way to put it. But you know, when people you know talk very highly of him, he doesn't he doesn't always agree. So I wanted to get Jared's take on the album. I told him in the group message. I said, "Have you listened to it?" And then I said, "Do not tell me. I want to wait for the pod for you to tell me." So. I mean, there was an insane comment delivered from yeah, that, that's that's comment. We'll leave that. We'll leave <laughs> we're, that gonna, we're gonna leave that else. We're gonna leave uh, that. That was an all time classic. Like that it. was like screenshotted, it. edited immediately. It's been <laughs> cropped. I might, I might print it out and hang it up. Uh, I was with no. Jay getting breakfast. I just turned the phone. Look, I turned the phone and showed Jay, and Jay goes, "I never want to see Jared say that again." <laughs> Um, no, I thought I thought it was really good. Um, there's some tracks that probably won't make it on the radio or anything, but I think are really good tracks. Um, overall, pretty good project. So I was uh, pleasantly surprised. I don't listen to Twenty One Savage that much, so it wasn't. Um... Did you like him on the album? Yeah, he did good. He had some nice verses and stuff like that. Yeah. But, what was your favorite track personally? Uh, the last track. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I guess it's expletive me. Right. Yeah. That's a good track. Yeah, I Obviously. like that one. Your My favorite, favorite personally was uh, "Middle of the Ocean." Easily. 
So I think yeah, I think that one was nice. That Frank one went crazy. He was really flowing on that. Was like that was that one was special. But I mean, the way they opened it up was just elite. Like Rich Flex. Rich was Flex is nice. Yeah. I mean, the memes about it are a little insane, though. So funny though, <laughs> they're so funny. Did you see? Did you see the the YouTuber who was like with Twenty One showing him the yes. memes of like, and he Twenty was like, hell nah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I just like I. I guess I guess Drake really is zesty to some people. Bro, he's hilarious. He's. It, I think you posted it too, Tom. The the Howard Stern interview where he's like, Bro. Savage loved to read. Bro, it was Savage so loves to read. <laughs> he's like, we were in the club. Did and Savage would pull out Charlotte. No. bro, it was so funny because they so they were on Howard Stern and uh. Yeah, they were talking about, they were like, so you're kind of like both kind of nerds. Like, I heard Savage, you have like a book club or something. And Drake just pops in and he's like, leaned back in his chair. He's like, oh, Savage loves to read. It's so funny, though. <laughs> and then, and then 21's like, 21's like, yeah, I like Charlotte's Web. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, Drake will be like, Drake's, uh, like, Drake's like, yeah, we'll be in the club and Savage will just pull out Charlotte's Web and start reading. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> no, it, 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 Jared, it is. It is an all-time interview. There's a there's a there's so many quotables for that one. It was so funny because I I had seen it and then when you posted, it, I was like, all right, like <laughs> everyone, like it was so funny. Savage loves yeah. to read. I was like, oh. it was all time. It was all time. Nah, but I I thought there were a bunch of good tracks. I really liked the the first two. I really liked Major Distribution was also really good. Yeah, Privileged yeah, Rappers. Keith was... likes Major Distribution a lot. The beat switch was so tough. The beat switch was crazy. I thought Privileged Rappers was really good. I think, no, it's a solid top to bottom album. Uh, I like Jumble. Yeah, Jumble. that's my favorite track. Honestly. Yeah, yeah that, that, one. that track goes too. Bro, bro like, it's like, short. It, it jump, like you just bob your head to it the whole time. It's nice. I was like, damn. I, and I felt like off first listen, it wasn't like one that grabbed me too much. But same. after I've listened yeah. to it a couple times, I was like, damn, yeah. this is my favorite track. Bro, it's just like he just doesn't miss. At the end of the day, he hasn't put it's out. It's hard to argue with him. He hasn't put out anything bad ever. Well, me and yeah, no matter who else is on the album. Yeah, I was gonna say Jared and I have had this conversation where he does a good job of like he puts out he makes things music that for are, everybody. Yeah, it's it's gonna be liked by the masses, but at the same time, he 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 can still like show his like talent, his prowess. So like on middle of the ocean, like. He yeah. re oh himself as like any yeah. lyricist and artist and rapper. Like crazy bars. That those bars were crazy. The this the 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 three NFL bars in a row was insane. I was like, oh my gosh. When he just kept going, bro. I was like, all right, man. He just kept going. It was like a lemon pepper freestyle. Uh Jay Z Ho. Yeah. Yeah, no, he just, he just bro, he's elite, and like he, like Jared said, he does makes music for everybody. Like the album in the summer, like not, nah, I don't know, I know you guys weren't big fans, but like I rocked with it. I thought it was solid. Just wasn't like I wasn't gonna act like I was gonna listen to house music just because Drake. Right, right, so right. I right. Switch up. Yeah. No, and I'm not like, can't stand. be can't be mad at that, but like I I know a lot of people that liked it, and there's definitely a few tracks on there that I I still listen to. So. Yeah, like Jimmy yeah. Crooks. I mean, yeah, but like, that was a preview for her loss. Like, I'm talking like, I'm talking like, massive was fire, falling back was fire, like, currents, sticky. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take your word for it. Yeah, trust you, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Do we think, uh, what a time to be alive too is uh, on its way? Because I've, I've seen. Oh my gosh. Twitter about that. I'll go crazy. I didn't even know that was an option. I would, I would love that if so. That would be insane. One of my, one of my favorite songs of all time is on that one. So we could mm. scholarships. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say. I already know what song it is. I remember That's the day, the day, bro. When me and Nick, the day when me and Nick got our scholarship, we were in the apartment blasting it. It was so sick. So like that moment, That's, that song, it, it, it'll, it'll always be there. That's but tied. Yeah, if we That's tied. Break, we, yeah. We get a sequel. It's just album. engraved in the memory. Yeah. It'd be a crazy get. Got it. But yeah. What'd like you say? Said. Yeah, what'd you say there, Jay? 
Oh, I said it would have been a crazy get if you get that. And I what time to be alive too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, drops. yeah. Well, especially after. Yeah, so nice. you take what Drake just dropped this, and then Future, his album was crazy earlier this year. So if they came yeah. together and made that. Well, just putting yeah. out. They just don't miss, man. Yeah. It's good oh, music that's consistently. That's what that's what Jay said last week. Got to have Drake at his too because he just doesn't miss. Yeah. yeah. It's really, it's really crazy. It's really crazy. I know. Now you think about it, it's been like almost like 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a long time. And he drops a lot. Like, it's not like he doesn't. Wait. He's not on Kendrick's shit. Nah, he doesn't wait years. Like, he drops a lot. He drops at least once, twice a year. Yeah, he's got a lot of music out. He yeah, dropped yeah, three he albums of features and stuff often. Yeah. In the last 14 months, he had three albums out. Yeah, it's crazy stat. That's a lot of work, a lot of studio work. I was saying. What a Drake, man. Appreciate you, Drake. Appreciate you. Yeah, shout out to Drizzy. <sighs> but yeah, uh, speaking of Jay and the top fives, or starting fives, I uh, I, I think I won again. So that Congratulations. Be- I, I did vote for be- you on walk-on pick, so. I, uh. I don't know if I want to pull. Me and Tommy were really close the whole run. I know. I think I won by one or two votes. So, you're welcome. I, I, I think I'm getting. I think I'm getting close to to Tommy's numbers here. I don't know. Are you? I think I. I think we can stat him one of these days. I haven't won in a long, long time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think the guests may have won more than you have. They might have. Yeah. Because what Owen won one, Will won his. I think Half might have won hers. Honestly. Nick, I don't know. Nick won his. Nick did. Nick. Win his. Yeah, no, our list, our list were good last week. That was a good battle. Yeah, my bad on the typo. I, I was gonna say, hopefully Lauren Hills didn't lose me some votes. I know, I know, full time. I know, full time noticed that right away. I had to. I had that to make was a sure. wild comment. Yeah, we didn't have to throw me under the bus like that, man. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I just said it had to be a typo. Juggling, juggling a student athlete. You know, we don't know. We don't know who makes. That. They don't know who makes the edits. I'm sure they know. I'm sure they know. It's yeah, we outsourced them. They, sh- <laughs> they should know yeah, that we it's got, you. We, but I, yeah, I got to hit my guy on payroll. Have, he. Uh... I couldn't have full time thinking I wasn't. I wasn't familiar with Lauren Hill's game. Yeah, no, I can't have full time thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. But yeah, no, that's on me. That's on me. I take full responsibility, but. It's all right, though. Yeah. Got a good one this week. Yeah, we had a good one this week. Jared actually thought it was our starting five last week. For those that listened to the pod, when we got into our starting five and Jared just gasped, it was because Jared wrote down the candy starting five. Spoiler alert, that's what we're doing today. When it should have been musical artist starting five. Yeah. And he had to scramble while we were going. <laughs> Full scramble. Put together a good list, though. I liked you. Yeah. Yeah, it was solid, but yeah, we're doing candy today. I know we're past Halloween, but uh, we wanted to get in at some point, so we're just yeah. gonna bang it out now. Why not? Yeah. I like it. I like it. It's a great um, move. Great move here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we said all encompassing, so chocolates are are involved in this. Uh, yep. All of that. So, are you? Before we get in, are you guys? Are you guys? Talk to me on your candy preferences. Are you guys? Are you guys chocolate guys or what are you? Mix and match. It depends. It's a situational thing. It's a situational I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a huge chocolate guy. It's fair. Yeah. I do That's like. I like, there's you, definitely uh, some chocolate on my list. I'm not gonna say there's not, yeah. but like, if I had to come down to it, like, I'm going. In, I'm going in a different direction. I agree. Interesting. I agree, and I feel like this is just the, when I am eating the candy. So, like, take a movie for example. I I don't really eat chocolates during movies. Like that's no, no, candy, like a gummy or something. So. That's usually how I roll. I don't know. Solid. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Let's get straight to it. I can kick us off. You know. Yeah, yeah let's hear it. So, at the point guard, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of personal bias in my starting five this week. Uh, at the point guard, I think this is a this is a a diverse candy. Um, it's shareable. You know, a lot of people can can enjoy it at once if if that need be, or by yourself. Boom. Maybe even a two-man game, you know what I'm saying? Real versatile. Give me the Mike and Ikes at the one. Um, 
Solid. Wow. I think I think it depending on what day you ask me, it's probably my favorite candy. Uh, but yeah, Mike and Ike's at the one. But just the normal Mike and Ike's basics. Yeah, original green box. Yeah. Got uh, at the two, this is this is my showstopper. This is one. Uh, the way I like the way Jay put it, you know, never misses. So, like, if we need a bucket, we're gonna go to it. we're gonna go to this one. Give me the pink starburst at the two. Pink um, starburst, wow! I think I oh, think it's a high volume specifics. score. Specifics. I think it's interesting. A high volume. You score. buy the packages that are pink only. I've definitely done that. So are we? Are we like if we're going if we're going like candy like that? Are we saying what color and flavor we want? No, you don't have to. I wanted just to be specific for the okay. For my, okay. So I, I think I might. I think I might make that audible and, and do that as well. Yeah, man, I like it. That was my shooting guard, pink starburst. And then, oh, okay, my bad. Small forward. Um, another versatile uh candy here. Uh, you can buy it in bulk. You can buy it in different sizes. There's normal sizes, the minis. I want the Swedish fish at my small forward. Mm. Um, I think this pick. is a two way type. Of, that's my. This is the, my other me. favorite candy. I love Swedish fish. Big. Fan. Yeah, that's like a Mike and Ike. I like Mike and Ike pick. I don't like Swedish fish. Swedish fish are yeah. incredible. But yeah, so that's that's the three. I think it's a versatile two way type player. Uh, gonna guard on the perimeter really well. Uh, at the four, this is a an everyday type <laughs> of guy. This is my favorite chocolate. I want the Reese's peanut butter cup. Uh, wow. I think this guy is going to pull down yeah, at least 15 boards a night. Uh, real post Interesting take. Love the Reese's peanut butter cup. Jared? What? It's not a Reese's guy, huh, Jared? Uh, no, I can do Reese's. It's not my first pick. Fair. I do 100% disagree. You can't go wrong with the chocolate and the peanut butter combo. But uh, Who you got at the center, man? At the center, this is the super curveball. Give me the Toblerone. I think uh, this is what? some size down low. Real some buns down, down there. there. Man, you guys are slept. This is a Doc Avdo, uh, Dr. A. I'd be, slept. I'd be slept if I didn't have him starting at my small forward right now. No, this guy is just absolutely sick. I didn't think the Toblerone was getting picked. I can't believe yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. Talk about a well versed. I'm well definitely not that. I know Stacy's listening. Tom Larone is just yeah. a staple in the ball family. Doctor really? A loves his Tom. Oh, so good, dude. Bro. So good. See, so he's tripping. I'm glad. I'm glad Tommy sees it. Doctor A always gets it for himself during Christmas, and he'll be like, "Oh, who got me this Tom Larone?" I'm like, yeah, Doctor A. <laughs> Bro, Jared, you don't, you don't like Tom Larone? No. What? Not a toffee guy. Is it even toffee? It's not I think toffee. it's nougat. It's like nougat, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's right, though. But yeah, good five. I like my. It's five. a solid five. That's All right, a... you want me to go, Tom, or you want to go? I'll go. My point guard. Um, you know, this is this is a candy that just they just find ways to get each other open. You know, they're they're real versatile. Real can can really do it all. Skittles at the one. Yeah, just just a real classic. I mean, can't can't go wrong with that. Backcourt running mate, absolute sniper, knockdown, never misses at all. Give me the cherry Jolly Rancher. Wow, cherry hey, Jolly, Jolly Ranch. More of a watermelon Jolly Rancher guy myself, but I like that pick. That's that's not a bad take either. But the cherry Jolly Rancher just really does it for me. Yeah. At the three, I had Toblerone, but I'm gonna make an audible because I don't wanna I don't wanna just copy picks here. I've got. Probably my, it's either one, it's either number one or number two for me in terms of chocolate candy bars. I've got crunch at the small forward. Wow. Good play. I'm a, Man. Big, I'm a big crunch guy, but like I said, I'm not a huge chocolate guy. So like crunch is like, I don't know, it's solid. You ever had the bunch of crunch where it's the little. The little... I like bunch of crunch better than the crunch bar. I would agree. Really? I don't, bunch of crunch I don't, is yeah. it's a high level. At the four, this is my personal favorite candy ever i just they never miss for me Got a lot of length at this i think they'd be real good pick and pop good stretch four for us they're gonna hit shots they're gonna rebound they're gonna compete i got sweet tarts give me sweet tarts easily my all-time favorite candy whoa and i'm a as you if you guys can't tell i'm a big sour like sweet type person don't have sour patch kids on here unfortunately but they were they were definitely in the mix and at the five, I mean, like Luke said, I mean, this guy's going to come in. He's going to pull down a tremendous amount of rebounds. It's just, yeah. it's big, it's thick, gets the job done. 
just really holding the middle down. I got Reese's. Yeah, love it. I wow. love it. I can't. I, I really love it. Oh, I'm so surprised like by that. I like the five a lot, man. Which one were you surprised by, Jared? That we both you guys had Reese's cups in there. Oh, Reese's are really good, Jared. Oh. I guess peanut butter. Okay, I don't know about you, yeah. I, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I got this from my sister. Do you ever freeze them? Oh, bro, the minis yeah. you get the Reese's minis, you throw yeah. them in the freezer, bro. Yeah. Oh my god, I got god. The, I got that from Allie. I got that from Allie. I freeze, I freeze the Reese's whenever I get them now. Well, that's the thing I love about go, the Reese's we go, too. we go, uh, refrigerator. Let's see, I'm gonna lie, fellas. I think I'm gonna hit the gas station right after this. Go get some candy. Good play. Good play. I haven't had candy in a minute. I didn't, I didn't eat any candy on Halloween. Yeah, man, we are. That's the thing about the Reese's brand, though. They're so versatile. You got the normal cups. You got the little mini wrapped ones. You have the mini unwrapped. You got the thins. You got the Reese's. Reese's brand like, is just. What are we talking about? Yeah, it's special. Yeah. Special franchise. Just a special. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, Jared. All right. So, at my point guard, I wanted some someone that was smooth, had a nice, smooth, solid game, but – had some dog, had some crunch to him. So give me Twix, point guard. I like it. I like it. Left or right? Oh, that's the thing. Reverse top. Oh, really? but I mean, I with Twix, I feel like you I have to. I feel like you hands, have to. Though. My dexterity is amazing. That's fair, but I mean, like Twix is all about the left side or the right side. That's just a marketing ploy. That's not like what we're really about. Oh, no. <laughs> A brand thing that's fair i like that i like that response it's good media it's answer. Lines. yeah i like that shooting guard hey right. want a little bit more i guess you'd say uh peskiness a more uh patrick bev type game uh give me sour patch kids yep i like it yeah Watermelons or no? Just normal Sour Patch Kids. I'm open to watermelons, but just regular Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, just, just just kids for this one. The blue ones uh, made a nice like addition to the real family. Okay. The blue one, huh? Yeah. Big fan of what the blue one does. Big fan yeah. of the blue one's game. Small forward. Want someone that had a little bit of length. Had a little bit of a, uh, you know, combo of sweet. And salty, give me Butterfinger, small finger, small forward. Mm. Can't go on that one. Not a Butterfinger guy? Not a Butterfinger guy at all. Mm. I feel like a Butterfinger is like a real love or hate. Like people either love them or people either hate them. Like, I, don't know. I, I love, love Butterfingers. Them. Yeah, see, there we go. Power forward, I wanted uh, a lot of length. Okay, We're going to get out in the open court. Runs like a gazelle. Give me a sour punch straws. Oh, I love oh, that. Pick. Wow, I love that pick. He said runs like a gazelle. That's his Giannis, right? I there. really sour do punch. like the sour <laughs> punch. Sour punch, special. Yes, oh, sounds like he, an at the rim type of guy too. Sour yeah, punch. you know, man, we're we're really racking up that foul count. Yeah, I like that. At the center position, someone with a little bit of fluff. All right, a little fluff. bit of a. Sweetness, give me three musketeers. Okay, that's a Halloween staple. It is a Halloween staple. Can't can't hate on three musketeers. Can't you're not gonna go it, and get one at the store if you're walking uh, down never. the aisle. You're never getting one at the store. <laughs> but if, if you go at Halloween and pick up the candy, you're like, hey, I'm gonna really collect these three musketeers. You know, I'm I'm really surprised that Kit Kat didn't make the cut for any of us. Yeah, it was Man. I, I need just... someone with a little bit more bite. There. A little more fluff, as he said. A little more fluff. <laughs> Fluff's crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm not sure when people describe their centers, they want fluff. But, you know, that's yeah. news to me. Yeah. Andrew Bynum vibes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jared, you want to go ahead and take this walk on? You know me. Uh, I got a couple, but I'm gonna go just pure flavor, pure like goodness. Just give me Dove chocolate, Dove chocolate. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I like Dove. 
you know what you're getting Dub. from the guy every single yeah. night. Yeah, Dub is a real Dub is a really solid guy. I mean, yeah. just talk about consistency. That's yeah. Dub. Yeah. I mean, for me, for me, fellas, this one's real underrated. I mean, mentioning all the family members right now. Got this one from Jim. Just a real staple in my candy game. Super underrated. I don't I don't see a lot of people eating these. Give me mambas. Tell me what you guys know about mambas. Wow. Mambas. It's like a high chew. I'm a huge mamba guy. I'm telling you, I love the sour. Wow. Yeah, mambas. Special, Jeez. special candy. But do you like now and later? I do. I do. Okay. Those are hard on the teeth. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big now and later guy as well. I actually I think it was last year I was going through Winco. You know how Winco has that like candy section? Big bulk section. Yeah, the big bulk section. I was like, I haven't had now and laters in so long. I got myself a little bag to last me a while. Wow. Sheesh. Why did he pick, fellas? Yeah. So, uh, for my walk on, um, comes from a storied franchise, but I feel like it just doesn't get the credit it deserves. Um, I think it doesn't play for the for the name on the back. It plays for the name on the front and does it night in, night out. Give me the Hershey's <laughs> Cookies and Cream Bar. I wow. High level. Lives out there. big. Cookies and cream bar, great pick. You, you know, someone that plays for the Hershey's franchise, but like, you know, doesn't get the Hershey's bar. White doesn't chocolate. Play for the oh, name man. on the wow, I love. That's just yeah. a good. That's just a good analogy. Bravo. Thanks, thanks, man. Great picks, man. I like it. I like it. We're getting real diverse with the picks. Oh, that's good stuff. Not much repeats. Yeah. Good job, fellas. Good yeah, job. not many repeats. I mean, the Reese's, the Reese's was just who I couldn't skip the Reese's. Yeah, I am shocked when I toggle around, Luke. Yeah, man. Yeah, you, you, you <laughs> can thank Doctor A for that one. Toggle around, shock. Big shout out, Doctor A. Yeah, yeah. No candy, you, special stuff. I mean, yeah, you just love to see it, fellas. Have we been have we been getting out on the golf course lately? Talk to me. A little bit, a little bit here and there. Yeah, a little bit. I had a Jared. pretty good, pretty good yeah. round last week. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet so shot an eighty-five. He's trying to act humble. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a good day out there. A good day. A little personal best for that yeah. out there. Yeah. Haven't hit the mini golf course in a while. You know. Been a, been I'm a gonna minute. need you. I'm gonna need you to start getting like I know the weather. Yeah, you might tough start. Need to start locking in. I need you to find something in the room. Get the swing right. You know this. These are the hours that people like. In order for us to come out victorious in this two v two, these are the hours that people aren't going to see that we need. We need to. We need to, like, drill. we need to like get a date set. We need to get a date set. Yeah. yeah. We need. To yeah. Get, we need to get a get. We need to get a cameraman. We need to get mics. We need to get a vlog going. I think. Yeah, get Charles need, Barkley out there. I was going to say we might need to reserve a whole course like the the hype that we're building behind this. You know, there might like, be a lot. I'm I'm that. being so serious. We need our own. We need our own version of Benjamin Luke. Yeah, yeah. YouTube TV might pick it up. <laughs> they might just do it. I mean, the chatter that's going to be going on between Jared and I is going to be so great. No, it's going to be nuts. And we're in, and and, and 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 I already know Keith is going to have some great some great comments as well. So right. this is going to be epic, epic. It's going to be absolutely epic. We definitely need to vlog this, and I can't wait to see Jared's face when he loses. Tell me, hey, I'm telling you, I told. Me, I mean, I'm not excited. Land. I'm not gonna act like I'm excited for the world to see my swing. I'm not gonna act like that's something I want out, but you know, you gotta roll with the punches, I guess. Yeah, that good with the bad. It's mm-hmm. part of it, though. You're gonna play your role. You're gonna play your role. And I told Jared this after my most recent round. I played with my dad and, and one of our friends that we always play with. Shot an 82 out here at the reserve, and in my game is this close to taking the turn. It's this close. Like it's. See, I'm, I'm right, right there. there. 85, 82, right there. No, see, but this is the difference. In eighty two, that was like a eh, like cool. That was a that was a personal best for you. So you know what I'm saying? It's like I shot a three one time, please. Let's get it right. You never told me that. I definitely told you that. Boy, Jay. My fault, my fault, brother. Come on, man. That's right though. But I'm right there, Tom. Good, good, good. Really yeah, I mean I mean season's here now, so yeah, golf's, exactly. That's golf's, a ba- golf's That's taking a back seat. You gotta lock in in the bedroom. No excuses. Little little reps count. The little reps count. It's all mental. I'm sure he has space in his room, Jared, for a little drill that you like to do. Remind me, what's that drill again? Every single night, Tom, get your 50 chips, 
It's going to get you right. Wow. Ooh. Wow. New delivery on that. New delivery. He, he, he keeps us on our toes. I mean, Jared, uh, if you want to send me like a little a little pitching wedge, that'd be cool. Yeah, I got Christmas you. is Christmas is com- Christmas is coming. He needs up. a pitching wedge. <laughs> Tom, sorry, man. You, you, whatever it takes. Just, I like. Where you're I'll get you. I'll get you a fifty-six, Tom. That'll be good for you in the sand. We're not going to be in the sand. I like to stay out of the sand. I'm not a sand guy. We're gonna stay. Okay, out of if you say so. <laughs> my thing is uh you know we're playing best ball so belief in luke that luke's not going to get anything in the sand so we're just yeah. we're just not going to be spending a lot of time there yeah it's, it's we don't know where we're playing yet so luke won't know if they're sand i mean that but, is, i'm pin but i'm but i'm confident in luke's abilities to <sighs> keep the ball away from the sand my proximity to the hole might be insane might be a career best for the kid just all right I man on the keep dreaming tb fairways is going to be ready to go just oh, know yeah, TB boy. Fairways. Uh, no, I haven't been out on the course in a, in a minute with Jared. I was talking with with uh, the boy Chris the other day. You're saying he wants to get out there with us, so yes, let's go, Serrano. We got a yes, <laughs> Serrano reps. Yeah, Serrano, Serrano is a good course to get on. It's, it's high level, high level indeed. Yeah, good stuff, fellas. Yeah, I mean. You know, casual, casual episode today. Change of plans. Yeah. Little Friday afternoon recording. Yeah, nice smooth episode before things start getting cracking. The NBA and uh, college basketball. Yeah. Got some. We've got some fun guests coming up here in the next few weeks. So should be should be real interesting. But wanted to give you guys something real casual, real smooth for your Sunday to enjoy. Right. So episode sixteen in the books. I mean, it's it's November. We started this in what July, so we've been we've been cooking here for a few few months. Yeah, yeah. we're definitely gonna have to start continuing to improvise, like because yeah. we'll be on the road. Jared's already on the road, right? Yeah, now. Right yeah. Now. I'm about to hit a I'm about to hit an eight day roadie in the Midwest. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be wild. We leave Frank at four Thanksgiving tomorrow for <laughs> Dakota. Oh yeah. my goodness. North Dakota, go get yourself some Dots pretzels. Shout out to Dots pretzels, by the way. What a special. Oh, speaking, North of, speaking of, I'm sorry, what? Are they out of, is Dots out of North Dakota? They're either north or south. That's where they're created. Oh. Mm, nice. I was going to say, you know, speaking of uh, other, you know, sponsorships or whatnot, Tommy and I are going to be fleeced out in rowback on this match. You know, go ahead and hit that link in the bio for 10% yep. off. Um, and that could be a difference as well. This rowback very well could be the difference. Could be the difference. I mean, I don't know if you saw Bobby Fairways. If they if they hired someone to hit their ball for Tommy, then maybe. I just I I just I just can't wait for him to be speechless. It's gonna be special. It's a mindset. It's gonna gonna be incredible. All right, man. man. I love it. I love it. Well, we appreciate you all listening in. Episode sixteen in the books. Just keeping keeping it plugging away. Keeping chugging. So. Thank you, everyone, and as always, your favorite walk-ons, and we're walking out.